Okay, I'll be up uh, giving instructions on how to upload the cards to the card manufacturer, which is uh, printerstudio.com. So if you, uh, yeah, so it says there's a, um, there's a Christmas delivery, 30% off thing. It'll probably be too late by the time you see this. But uh, anyways, um, so you choose 108 cards, uh, and if you notice, it, it goes to shrink wrap, so you can't really get a case, and that's unfortunate, it's just because of the size of the deck. But besides that, you notice that um, because it's this is larger than the standard 54 card deck, it's you add, it adds a $4.28 um, bonus charge, I guess. Um, so that's on top of the eight dollars. So um, it's about like twelve, twelve dollars thirty cents. But yeah. Uh, so you click personalize it here, um, and this is where you put the card front. You put you put in a hundred eight, which is the max, and you choose different images over here. You have to make sure to choose different images because. All the cards are different images. Um, so I have a couple of cards uploaded here, but normally you'd click upload images, find where you put your card card files, and then go to that. Uh, make sure to go to the 822 by 1122 size cards because the way the machine works, the card machine works, is when they make it, it chops off a portion all around the border of the card. So you want to make sure you have the these size cards. So you just drag it here, it's pretty easy, so you drag that there too, um, and you would do that for all the cards. So after that, you just click um, Next Step, and I'll take you here where you could add text and stuff, but you don't need to do that, so just click Next Step again. It'll take you to here. Um, for the number of card backs, you put in 108 again, but this time for image and text, you click same image because you just want one type of card back. So you click that, and I already have it uploaded here, but you could click upload image and find it wherever you put it. Uh, mine's in here, but whatever. Uh, and then you just dra drag and drop again, and this is the card back that will be on all the cards and you click next step. Uh, again you could add text but there's no point in doing that unless you really want it for some reason. Um, so just click next step again and it should be about done. Uh, it'll, it'll show you just the preview page of all the cards and as you can see the card back repeats for all the cards and that's how it's supposed to be. And the front is where you have the front of the card with all the information and everything. And so you could just look at the cards here, and after that, just click Add to Cart and um, deal with the shipping. Um, Alright, let me, let me show you that too, just in case. Or actually, it's taking too long to load, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you could choose UPS if you wanted faster shipping, but I think it costs a lot more. So the standard shipping price is, I, if I remember correctly, it's around 12 bucks. So the total price, if you uh, uploaded the cards through this manufacturer, would be 25 dollars, about 25 US dollars. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.